So we know how tempting it can be to want to share your food with your dog. If it's safe for you, it must be okay for your dog, right? Well, that's not always the case, actually. In fact, some human foods might be downright dangerous for dogs. They can't always digest foods like humans do. So, some food that your dogs can eat if you do want to give your favorite pup a little bit of a treat. On the fruits category, it's apples, bananas, blueberries, cantaloupe. You could do cranberries if you wanted to, mangoes, orange, peaches, pears, pineapple, maybe some raspberries or strawberries, even a little bit of watermelon. And for vegetables, if you're making vegetables, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, carrots, celery, green beans, peas, and spinach are all okay. Now, there are some things to keep in mind that you can't feed your dog. So foods that your dogs cannot eat in the fruit category, no avocado, cherries, grapes, or tomatoes. And under vegetables, asparagus, mushrooms, and onions are a big no-no as well. So with all that said, grain-free diets have been gaining popularity in the news lately for humans and for canines. So you might be asking yourself, should you feed your dog grains? Should you stay away from grains? Well, grains can affect each dog differently. And AKC Chief Veterinary Officer Dr. Jerry Klein breaks down grain-free diets for us now. There's been a lot of things on the news about uh, grain-free diets and the possible causation between heart disease and grain-free diets. So what does this mean actually and what are the grains that we're talking about that are used in dog food? Well, they're used in dog food as a source of carbs or energy source and the common ones that are used are wheat, corn, barley, oats, rye, rice, and soy. And so grain-free diets are substituting other sources of energy as a source of carbohydrates, things like potatoes, sweet potatoes, legumes, lentils, and peas. And the reason of some concern is the FDA had reports uh, several years ago of some types of dogs coming down with a heart disease called DCM, or dilated cardiomyopathy. And the concern was that these kinds of dogs, a lot of them were golden retrievers, and some other breeds as well, don't normally have DCM. DCM was found in some other breeds, so they kind of figured, is there a correlation with the type of food that they're eating? So at no point have any of these foods been recalled, and that's important to realize that no form, uh, no proof has been made between uh, these kind of grain-free diets and DCM, but there is a concern. An additional study that just came out found that the common element that was high in the list of ingredients was peas, of all things peas, which in itself are not toxic. So we don't really know how this plays into the whole DCM thing. So I would tell you if you were my client, so what should I do? Well, first of all, know what you're feeding your dog. Really know, not just the brand, but know what the first five ingredients in your dog's diet are. Read, read what they are. If peas are in the top four or five of the ingredients, you should ask your veterinarian if this is going to be a concern for my dog's long-term health. Do I need to make a switch? There are a lot of foods out there and a lot of choices available. So your veterinarian will be able to guide you in the best food for you and your dog's long-term health.